7808 Mayford. It's a very long house. It looks like some additions were put on um, at some point in time. Quiet street, very quiet, very low traffic. Surrounding houses are all very are well kept. Ours is the the ugly one on the block. Definitely, um, what do we call it? Uh, it's an odd one out, kind of an oddball house. There's two front doors, one there, one here. A little like wrap around driveway or circle driveway. I walked around once and the house is open and vacant. This driveway, some cracking. This the concrete looks good. Two car garage. Siding's pretty old. There's some damaged and most of it looks alright. Some damage as you see missing pieces. Metal wrap, it looks like the so or soffit is missing and they have it replaced with plywood. Overall the house is pretty really beat up. But it's a nice area. Interesting house. A lot of character. Um this is the backyard, which they have a pool. Here, it's definitely old and uh, not the best shape, but it's not completely um, like eroded or some of the structure is all right. There's definitely some cracking in it. I can see uh, through this cover. I think I see bare cinder block. And a little pool room. Roof definitely needs work. The structure of it. Um, I thought I saw some issues with the structure on the back side. This wall looks like it's about to fall over. And there's already some bricks missing. Definitely was, or maybe at one point it was, could be a beautiful place. Neighbors well kept. Um, let's see if I can see the roof. Barely see the roof in the camera. I can see it pretty well with my eyes. And it looks very uneven, like wavy. And um, some da damaged shingles. The other half of our backyard over here. neighbors behind us are well kept and this brick uh, privacy fence is mostly in good condition besides over by the pool it's a neighbor's yard and this looks like one of the additions that was put on at some point shed is really old and beat up definitely needs to be demoed Siding, wood siding doesn't match here. The rest of the house. Cinder block foundation. Do you see a crack here? Back deck here, it's in really rough shape. See a lot of unevenness. Looks like it's about to fall. I don't think, it looks like both the doors up there are plywood uh, covered, so I'm not gonna be able to go out on it. These stairs into the house in decent shape. When I went in, I couldn't find out how to get to here from the inside. So I'm going to do this before I go around to the front door. In here, I see a 
light to the outside. Unfinished. We got a lot of insulation, newer wood up here, or newer joists. Looks like, like I said, a newer construction, so um, an addition. You can see the outside of the original house there. This was a small room. This looks like maybe it was a bathroom or gonna be. Plumbing cut. Surprised it's not all missing because the place was unlocked. This looks incomplete. No cap or and it just ends. The room here in the midst of being finished with a panel, which is not wired up. Um, and then through here, so this must go to the main house. I didn't find this. This, is, this place is like a maze. I guess this is the basement of the original house. It's locked. Let me see what I can do. Walk to the front of the house and go inside. Big fireplace, definitely uh, needs some work. Foundation looks good. Some of the roof looks good on the front. Um, it's way worse in the back. Like I said, there's kind of two front doors here. It's probably uh, the main front door. And then over there, which these stairs need some work. Walkway's not bad. Missing a stone there. And then over the other front door, that one's the one that's on, that was open when I got here. Had this big glass bubble coming out the front of the house, which on the inside you can't even see it. It's, it's drywalled over. And it's like disconnected from the house. Bad condition. Definitely uh, needs to be taken down. I don't know if I'll be able to get into the garage, but I see... Uh, Roots caved in right here. And there's actually a like an underground area underneath of this, even though this is ground level, you walk down into this little uh like maybe it's like storage. It could be a nice storm shelter shelter. Alright, so this is one of the two front doors and I'm gonna walk straight over to the other front door. I'll start there. Which is right here. So you walk in this front door. To the right is a living area. Here's a little bedroom, which has two entrances. Over there, and this door. Be a long video. This house is huge and a maze. All the drywall is in pretty good shape. There's a lot of damaged parts throughout the house. The windows are very old vinyl or broken completely. A full bath right here, which is like connects right to the living area. This stone fireplace looks good, but there's a lot of texture on the walls and ceiling. So back to over here. Straight back is the kitchen. 
over to the left here is a bath. It looks like it was remodeled at some point, but it's completely beat up. Rough shape. Tile doesn't look very good. I mean, it looks like they tried, but definitely it would either need a re gut it and rehab it or um, maybe a big time cleanup. It's another bedroom. And back to the kitchen. That is an entrance to the upstairs of the addition that was, went in the lower part of it. Your nice big kitchen. Needs new everything. Walls are damaged badly. Uh, I'm going to finish this floor level actually. And then another bedroom which has two entrances as well. This is where I started. You know, I walked in this big door right here. There's this big open room. I took a left down here. Bedroom to the left. Front door. Bedroom. Full bath. Bedroom. Kitchen. Step down four stairs. Big open area. The walls are pretty good drywall. You see a hole there. That's where the glass bubble's at. Spiral staircase up. Textured ceilings. Over here on this floor still. Here's the garage. There's the hole I was talking about. As well as some foundation issues. What else? A uh, big bedroom here. Nice big closet. Textured ceilings. Drywall walls. Trims all busted up. And I believe that's it for this floor. This is the last thing. Uh, full bath. Really nice looking at one point probably. Now it's kind of beat up. Get it down to the basement. It's just all like tile floors, but there's all kinds of cracks. Down here, it's the utility room with a, another crawl space that goes real far back. The joists look pretty good. I'm missing a cinder block there. You see the light coming through. And what else? Um, see an electric panel back here. Oh, can't go that way. Back here, uh, it's a 60 amp panel. I don't think that's the only one in the house. Wires are all cut. Hey, what else was that? It looks like they had a shower down here too. Um, plumbing's all jacked up, copper stripped. Utility room here, another crawl area. Just storage. I think this might be what I was showing you you can get to from the front of the house. Or like right on the front patio. Yeah, it is. And it's a weird area. They got like a hole in the middle um, storage or like a storm shelter or a hiding spot maybe over on this side slop sink workshop kind of area drywalls all destroyed down here a little bit of mold on the joists but they look good for the most part lots of cut wires <coughs> all right I think you get the point. This place is a big old mess, but it's a huge maze. Back here, it looks like they had a full bath. It needs some a full gut and mold issues. And 
Yeah, and this is the entrance to the other, uh, did I show, yeah, yeah, I came down this hallway. This is the living area. Brick looks good here. This panel ceiling. The bedroom. All kind of destroyed ceilings. It's a pretty small bedroom. Another little storage area. And then this goes back. I don't know where that goes to, but weird. That's just like a little uh, closet basically for this bedroom. And then another bedroom here. Panel ceilings kind of low, the, the drop ceiling, but the joists are about seven foot, seven, even a little, a little higher than seven foot, at least seven foot. Pretty uh, short doorway though, uh, six foot. Hits my head on the door when I walk out of the room, right here and here. And last, looks like they had a kitchen back here. All kinds of cut copper right here. Joists missing a big section, but otherwise the joists look all right. And, um,. Another, no, I already went in that bedroom. So that's it for down here. This is like another apartment, basically. Uh, did I get everything in this utility room? I don't think I did. Here's another, uh, wow, big panel, all kinds of cut wires, and it looks like a big old mess. Uh, it's a 200 amp panel, and this is 100 amp, but it's not wired up at all. And the ductwork looks sketchy. See like some real weird patches and more wires that are cut. And the ductwork just in general, it's really small. It's four inch supplies. And that's it for this downstairs. And I showed you this whole floor, two bedrooms. Over there, that side, there's two bedrooms and a full bath, and a kitchen and living room. I haven't gone up here yet. Oh, this is the viral staircase. Which over here, this looks like where you get to that back porch. This side, sliders uh, broken. Most of the drywall in this room is in good condition, and it's a nice big room. And on this side, it looks like they had the master bathroom. But it's not complete. Oh, shower over there. Definitely a nice uh, size and setup for a ma big master. The bedroom with the closet and the bathroom here. That's it for upstairs on this side of the house. And last, there's one more upstairs section over here. We already went through all this floor level. The kitchen, main kitchen was right here. The bedroom back there. Kind of walk out into it outdoor feeling oh my head on the lamp there's a wood burning stove and a back door and then you walk up these steps and this was the addition the upstairs of the addition I already showed you the main level or the, um, the lower level of the addition this is all drywall but there's lots of damaged spots and it's not complete Windows are banged out. All kinds of damage on this drywall. 
Nice big room though, tall ceilings. And then a bedroom back here, which is a very skinny but long bedroom. Looks like they had a window AC in it here, so I don't think that the HVAC is, with all the additions it looks like they put on, I don't think, or maybe just, there's one, maybe only one addition, which is this part that I'm in now. But I doubt the HVAC's set up for the whole house. Um, basically it's a big wreck, but it could probably be turned into something beautiful, but it would be uh, kind of an oddball house. And I think that's it.